All right, welcome back. We're talking about the conditional operator, which is represented by a question mark. So the conditional operator is used in conditional assignment if a condition is true or false. And we follow this formula. We have some sort of condition or expression. Then we add a question mark, kind of like we're asking a question. Is this true? If it is, do x. If not, do y. So we'll write a simple program to check the temperature outside. So we'll write this using an if-else statement first. And then later on, we'll use the conditional operator and take a look at the differences. So let's say we have a double named temperature. And I'll set this equal to 20 degrees Celsius. As well as a string message, I will declare this but not yet assign it. So what if we would like to assign our variable message a custom message based on the temperature? Well, if we're using if-else statements, that would look like this. So we need a condition if temperature is greater than or equal to, let's say, 15 degrees Celsius, then we will assign message a string. Message equals it's warm outside. Else message equals it's cold outside. And then at the end, I would like to display my message within a right line statement. Console, that right line message. And this will work just fine. No issues. So my temperature is currently 20. And this will print the message. It's warm outside. Now there is a way to shorten this and that's by using a conditional operator. So if we were to take that approach, we would have to follow this formula. So let me just copy this. We need our condition. Our condition is temperature is greater than or equal to 15 question mark like we're asking a question. If it's true, then do this. So we will take it's warm outside in place of X. If not, then we do this. It's cold outside, but these are returning values. So we need to assign them to something. So we will say message equals, this is our condition, temperature greater than or equal to 15 question mark. If that's true, assign this. If not, assign that. And that's all there is to it. And we don't really need all of this anymore. And then I will display my message within a right line statement. And this will do the same thing. It's warm outside. You could even take this a step further too. You could place just this within a right line statement and get rid of the message completely. We don't even really need that message variable. So yeah, that's the conditional operator. You can use this in conditional assignment if you need to assign some variable if some condition that you set is true or false. It's kind of like a shortcut. So yeah, that's the conditional operator in C-sharp.